Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're doing another what I eat in a day. I like to do these like a couple times a year, not really as a like, oh, follow exactly what I eat because everyone has their own ways they like to eat and how much they like to eat. But I just think it's fun to like share recipes, share little snacks that I've been liking. And I do share more food like on like my Instagram stories and everything, but it's fun to just have it all in one place sometimes. So yeah, you guys know the drill. I don't track my macros or anything. I don't track calories. I really don't even think that much about it. So if you're looking for a video with like the the macro breakdown this isn't the one and I did film this over my break so normally like during like the school week my meals might be a little bit different just because I'm on like a tight schedule I do a lot more like snack packing rather than just like being at home throughout the day so yeah I hope this is fun and helpful also this is just like one day I do eat differently on different days usually I'll have like one treat per week like you know I gotta have my crumble cookies that's not to say I don't have dessert every day anyways you guys know the drill let's get started with some breakfast all right let's go ahead and make some breakfast so I just got back from the gym. I'm on break right now So I've been going to the gym a little later Sometimes I'll eat like a piece of toast with like some peanut butter or cashew butter with like a little bit of honey before I go to the gym Just because I've been going a little later But realistically when I go during the school week I go pretty early and like I just don't have an appetite at like 6 a.m So usually after the gym is my first meal of the day Pinto is also having a little breakfast and yes He gets to eat on the counter because or else peach would steal it All right This is kind of like my normal weekend breakfast on the weekdays I still do like my smoothies because they're just so fast but today we'll make a little egg scramble with some toast okay so i got my ingredients all ready i'm gonna do two eggs today sometimes i do two eggs and then like i have like a little thing of egg whites i don't have any egg whites today but sometimes i just want like a little more but not like another full egg spinach which guys i cannot express to you my love for spinach i love it in my smoothies i love it on really anything it's the best for salads too like spinach is just my absolute favorite leaf and then I'm gonna top it off with a little feta crumble. I'm also just gonna toast up a piece of toast with some peanut butter to get some healthy fats in there too. I always spray my pan with a little avocado oil spray. I get these at Costco and it's just so much easier than like olive oil. Plus apparently you're not supposed to heat up extra virgin olive oil, which I have done throughout my entire life. Add in a big handful of spinach because spinach shrinks down to a minuscule size. I just pack my eggs directly into the pan because I'm not gonna waste another bowl. Crash those puppies in. Okay, I did burn my toast we're gonna just pretend that didn't happen i'm just adding trader joe's peanut butter on top only ingredient in this is peanuts which is the only kind of peanut butter i will eat toss a little salt and pepper feta and lastly just drizzle a little bit of honey on my toast all right here's the finished breakfast it's only about like two hours until lunch at this point so it's not the biggest breakfast, but it'll do for that time. Hey, Pants, how you doing, buddy? All right, so for lunch, I'm making some uh, crispy honey garlic tofu, and I'm gonna make it in the air fryer, which I'm excited about. I've had tofu before, but usually I pan fry it. This time I'm gonna air fry it because I feel like it'll be extra good. So I just got the rice started in my rice cooker. Getting a rice cooker was like the best thing I ever did because now I don't have to sit there and watch rice and it like never burns, which is amazing. I'm also making some like Korean glazed Brussels sprouts for a side. So I'm gonna go press my tofu, something I've never done. I heard that this is essential to making your tofu nice and crispy and not soggy. Okay, I bought extra firm tofu. I got mine from Sprouts. It was like two to three dollars, which is actually really good. I wanted my tofu to be as firm as possible, so we got the extra firm and we got the cast iron skillet now, pressing these bad boys down and I'm filming some other videos today, so I'm gonna go do my makeup while all of this, you know, settles in and we'll be back when the tofu is nice and pressed. All right, we're back. Tofu is still pressing over there. And now I'm gonna start the Brussels. So technically these are two different recipes. I'll link them down below. I get all of my recipe inspiration from Pinterest. So we're going to be making vegan Korean Brussels sprouts. They look good. They look like caramelized with something. And Brussels sprouts can be really good if you do them right. I have a feeling these will need to roast for a bit. So I feel like we need to get these started. Preheat to 400. <laughs> Brussels all in a pan. I'm going to spray them with some avocado oil spray. It's just an easy way to like get it all coated then sprinkle with some salt. Okay, so apparently those need to roast for like 45 minutes. Thought it would be less. Now for the Brussels sprout sauce. Okay, I'm going to make the sauce ingredients in one of these little like snack bar containers because I don't want to cook all of my tofu this week. I want to kind of like cook it throughout the week so I can save it for later. I'm going to grate some ginger. Soy sauce, water. A tip to make your honey not stick to the thing you're using to measure it is to spray some oil on it first. Doesn't stick. 
garlic, rice vinegar, some cornstarch to thicken it up a bit, which usually does better if you mix it with water first, but the recipe didn't say that, so. Okay, pretty good progress so far. We got the sauce for the Brussels, a nice and thick. I have the sauce ready for the tofu. And I just don't think I wanna cook all of it right now. Just probably enough for us for lunch today because I'm home this week, I'm on break. I have time to like, you know, whip up lunch for like 10 minutes a day. And it also said to kind of coat the tofu in cornstarch because it helps make it sticky. So I still have like 20 minutes on the sprouts. So I think I'm just gonna get ready to cook everything, but I'm not gonna cook it quite yet. Okay, now it's time to cook the tofus. Right, guys here is the final result i decided to just drizzle the brussels because i didn't want to make all of them right now and they'd be soggy like tomorrow the tofu is looking good there's just some plain white rice on the bottom and topped it off with some sesame seeds all right well let's have some snacks shall we when i'm home on break my snacks tend to be a little less structured like for school usually like i'll bring some fruit with me or like a little bar or something but when i'm at home you know i don't plan out my snacks as much so i thought i would just show you some of my current favorite snacks right now first since it's summer i have a ton of watermelon like i already ate actually a lot of this today i forgot to show you guys i don't know what it is about the mini watermelons they're always a little sweeter they're always a little brighter in color which usually just makes them better so watermelon has been a huge snack for me i'm always a big fruit person and if you follow me on instagram you probably have seen that i've been eating a lot of this little like plant-based dip it's called bitchin sauce my favorite is the cilantro chili but i also love the original and the chipotle one i find these at target and you can get like the giant tub of it at costco and these are my favorite little chips to eat them with i don't know why these are like new from trader joe's and there's just something about them they're just nice little chips so i think i'm gonna have some of this right now and i'm also going to have one of these these are the trader joe's soft baked peanut butter chocolate chip cookies i love a cookie that tastes homemade and i cannot bake anything here because whenever i bake things i make like at least like two dozen and then i will eat them all but when i buy things i'm a little slower about eating them like i'll have like usually about one of these per day they're just super good and i am a true dessert girl like i need my dessert every day okay so we're gonna be doing a quick dinner now we got these like little chicken kebabs from trader joe's actually this is a very trader joe's meal so here's what we got for dinner. I've never seen these before, so I feel like they're new. They're the Thai style chicken kebabs. And I was also just gonna throw some of these roasted potatoes in the air fryer. These are so good in the air fryer, like perfectly crispy. They also have some little like veggies in them too. So I feel like I'm getting a little bit of veggies. But then, you know, I've just been on a salad kick and I've just been loving these. So I've never had this one. This is the sesame crunch chopped salad kit. I also love the salad kits from like Costco. Those are great. So we're gonna be grilling the kebabs on our little indoor grill you guys have asked me quite a bit about this indoor grill whether i'd recommend it or not i think if you truly like cannot have any sort of grill besides something like this that's inside i would recommend it but it's called a smokeless grill it's not smokeless it has set off our fire alarm multiple times usually when we're meal prepping and like cooking like 20 chicken thighs it's a lot of like turnover of things it's not smokeless but it does the job
All right, so here's the final result. Got my salad. Looks pretty good. I feel like I have had this one before. It's like a peanut dressing and the potatoes, perfectly crispy. I love them. And the chicken smells really good. So definitely excited for that. And for dessert, I'm gonna have one of these little hold the dairy mini cones from Trader Joe's. I'm getting two out because Ian's having one too, but they're just like super mini cones. Sometimes I have one, sometimes I have two. They're pretty small. They're really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other video requests down below if you'd like to see what I eat in a day more like during school. So like what snacks I pack, all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.